Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Very, very excited and happy to be here today. I had a fantastic request. That request was, Joe, could you please compare a five millimeter flat curb chain to a five millimeter rope chain. Now, you guys might be wondering why would we do that? Well, you guys are gonna notice more than likely that when we compare these two, you're gonna see a huge difference in presence when it comes to these two chains. We're gonna first try on that five millimeter concave, then we're gonna try on that five millimeter rope, and then we're gonna put them on together at the same time to give you guys a good idea of what you're getting when it comes to these chains and money. Now, both of these chains are gonna be very, very functional, and they're gonna be very strong. They're also gonna offer you a lot of presence. Not only are they gonna offer you a lot of presence, they're also gonna offer you a lot towards your money. They're gonna give you a large presence for a smaller amount of money, which is fantastic. These two chains in particular, they stand out in that regard amongst all the chains on the market. Now, before we move forward, just wanna say thank you guys for all the support and love that you show to this channel. The second thing I wanna bring up is you might be wondering, Joe, why are you wearing this crazy hat? Well, the reason why, guys, is because the normal hat that I wear was actually called out by one of the awesome subs of this channel. That sub said, hey, Joe, maybe you should change out your hat because it's looking a little bit old. It's looking a little bit dingy. You know, you don't want to just throw on a bunch of jewelry and step out onto a stage and think that you look good. You got to have your hat on point. I 100% agree. Guys, just like I told that awesome subscriber in the comments, I've had that hat since I was about I don't even know, 15 years old. I have a collection of over 500 hats, this Gorin Brothers hat being one of them. And uh, typically I just wear that other hat though because it, it makes me feel at home, it makes me feel happy. I enjoy wearing that hat, even though it looks like trash, honestly. So forgive me guys, if I hope I wasn't, uh, I hope I wasn't doing the wrong thing by wearing that hat too often. I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm gonna be wearing that hat again, but I figured for today, I'm gonna throw on the Gorin Brothers hat, one of the many Gorin Brothers hats that I have, just to switch it up a little bit. And before you guys mention anything in the comments about this, I'm gonna bring it up now. I don't wear the same black tee every time, and I don't wear the same black Young LA sweatpants all the time. Guys, I have more than one pair of these things, and I do own a washing machine. Just in case anybody wanted to bring that up in the near future, I like to try to keep it all black in order to keep a matte setting for you, your eyes when it comes to this jewelry. I don't want you guys to think that I'm running around dirty, <laughs> just throwing out videos, not washing my clothes, not switching it up. At the end of the day, I like to try to keep it all black, all matte. I know you guys probably aren't thinking this, but I figured I'd throw it out there just in case since my hat was called out. Let's get into the video. All right, so first things first, I have on the five millimeter curb, flat curb chain. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful chain. One of my favorite chains that I own. We're gonna take this chain from 12 feet back to give you guys a good idea of what that's looking like. Then we'll throw on that rope. Let's start moving back. All right, I'll do a spin for you. Let's bring it back up. Hope you all are having a great day, by the way. Let's throw on that rope. Bam, look at that thing. That thing pops, that thing really, really pops. You know what, we're even gonna throw it on the wrist to show you guys the difference on the wrist close-up comparison uh, after I take this back 12 feet. But in the meantime, let's take this back 12 feet. Do the spin. I remember one time in one of the videos I was walking up close to the camera like this and one, one of you guys said, Joe, why are you walking like Jesus? <laughs> You guys are too much. All right, there you go. Okay, let's throw them on at the same time. I'll stagger them a little bit for you guys so you can get a good difference in view. And then I'll throw them on the wrist to give you guys an up close. Okay, so as you guys can see, I have these chains staggered. Now, originally, both chains hung naturally at 20 inches in length. 
and they're both five millimeters, okay? Now I have them hanging at a two inch difference. This is hanging, the, the uh, flat curb is hanging at 20 inches and the rope is hanging at 22 inches in length, all right? So let's take this 12 feet away, give you guys a good look at that. Bring it back up. All right, let's throw it on the wrist. Guys, please forgive me. In some videos, I do forget to mention the sizing. If I do, I'll do my best to get back to you guys in the description of the video or in a comment with the sizing of what I'm wearing. But today, I didn't forget. Two chains right here. You have the flat curb, obviously, and then you have the rope. Now with the flat curb, you have five millimeters, right? And then with the flat curb, uh, with the rope, you have five millimeters as well. But the crazy thing is that with these chains, you're getting such a different look. You're getting more of a wide look with the flat curb, but a more high, chunky look with the rope. Now, what is going to give you guys a bigger presence? Well, in my opinion, that's going to be the rope chain. The rope chain, in my opinion, is always going to give you a bigger presence from far away. Up close, the flat curb is going to give you a nice, nice wide look. But from far away, I find maybe you guys can take a look at the video and maybe you guys feel differently. But in my opinion, from what I've seen, from what I've experienced, that chunky look is going to do well by you when it comes to getting a larger look for less money. You will get a lot of the time, unless it's a diamond cut, unless it's a diamond cut rope, a lot of the time you'll get more of a shine when it comes to the flat curb or to, um, yeah, to a flat curb. But at, at the end of the day, you still will get a beautiful shine from the rope. And at the same time, it's also going to look chunkier. So I hope this video helped, guys. I look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you all for the love that you show and all the support to this channel. Talk soon. Be safe.